Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Carbon ROM for Galaxy S3. This is the Carbon KitKat version. Yes, the Carbon KitKat has been released after much, much awaited time. And yeah, uh, I'll say this again. Carbon ROM is probably my favorite ROM for Galaxy S3 of all times. And I mean all times. Um, so let's get into the ROM now. This is actually a nightly version. This is 31, uh, one nightly. So it's, it may not be the latest by the time it is up. So let's see. Uh, first of all, what you would see, what you had seen there is the lock screen, which is, well, it is similar to a KitKat lock screen. Now, again, about Carbon ROM, it is based on, uh, it's, it's loosely based on Cyanogen mod. So you will find most of the Cyanogen mod settings, but this has an AOSP root. So, uh, a lot of the settings you will find is more or less a modified version of AOSP. So you can see the wallpaper, it's kind of becoming a trademark of Carbon ROM. It is fa pa uh, the Facer uh, Beam wallpaper, live wallpaper with circles instead of lines. So yeah, let's go to the settings menu. Now settings, something which I really like about Carbon ROM is that it has a really elegant um, to the point setting menu. It do just has one option where you find everything else so well i'll just get to that let me show you guys the about phone page you can see it is android kitkat um kitkat nightly 31 2014 31 1 2014 so that is the latest version it does have a delta style um updater but i did try and update from 30 to 31 but uh, the updater refuses to find 30 31st uh, version so I'm not sure if it works yet but it may work in the it will work in the future releases so let's get to the ROM special features now first of all which you can see here is the personalization settings first of all carbon fibers that has all the magic first of all something about the carbon ROM you can find about the carbon ROM it is an aftermarket um, firmware based on AUSB we have this file stable feature field a lot of that you can see the team uh, and also the maintainers for each different devices so you can go through that if you want to now let's get to the settings now first uh, first of all what you will find is button setting these are uh, customizable hardware buttons so you can select what each button does now we can have double tap actions also like uh, in-app search close menu recent etc a lot of options you do have keyboard playback control reorient volume button when the screen turns and such options you do have all of that device tunables are like vibrations uh, the led things like that uh, settings for those things which are it which does work pretty good i'm not sure if why it's not coming now now in the interface settings we have a lot of options well we have two options right now as i've said this is nightly version it's not the final one you will have the final version in the well it, you will have a lot of options in the future builds now we have crt animation you have all these animations i i'm i prefer don't show you do have list view animation you can have that i'm going to select scale with interpolator overshoot so that's my favorite one you do have recent panel clear all button position you can use the clear all button position uh, in the four corners so you can have that uh, what else now in the lock screen setting you have a lot uh, in you do have active display so that is a really great feature you do have the active display with turn off display so that does work out uh, we have button options when in lock screen so you can have you can bind each of these hardware buttons with an option in the lock screen so that does work out I normally keep the home button on flashlight so that I can use the flashlight at any time you do have see-through option which with blur you can enable or disable blur just uh, get this one to the least for if you don't want the blur effect so that does work out pretty cool um, notification uh, lock screen notification these are the new features which are featured in a lot of other ROMs also it is available in this one also and something which I noticed is that in this ROM the lock screen notification swiping is a lot smoother than the other ROMs and the other ROMs it kind of jitters but this one in this one it I didn't find a lot of those problems so that's pretty cool targets now you do have a four-way targets not the eight way yet so you can select the targets here so that's cool navigation bar it does have navigation bar so you can select that buttons now this sort of navigation bar is what i would prefer uh, out of uh, the 
other style with the AOKP style because I can remove all of these and uh, put up custom um, apps which I frequently use like SMS call everything there and I will just uh, reduce the dimension I will reduce the uh, height to maybe 30 so that I can use them so that is pretty much it for the um, navigation bar so what else now power menu you can uh, switch power menu you can have all these options available in the power menu so you can have that so that is pretty cool um, status bar option has a few settings now battery icon you have a lot of options here so that is pretty neat uh, circle animation if you select circle uh, icon you can select the circle animation speed percentage text color so that is great uh, color now something which i really like is the font option in here the fusion rom and the Tamasix rom were the two roms where this option was available but in the fusion rom it was not working as it should so i really wa i really like this one because it does work i normally select condensed and well it, i just select bold now condensed you can see the um, clock is clock font is now condensed so that is pretty cool i normally set it with these options so these are the my personal choice of options so yeah you have general options in general option you can select the status uh, status bar color you can have a custom color if you do want to if you want to so you can have that pretty cool double tap to sleep is a, a favorite of mine and a lot of people so that is pretty cool notification drawer you have a few options you can enable quick quick access ribbons which gives you a ribbon here which is well, it, it's usable. It's kind of an alternative to power widgets, I guess. So, yeah. Now, quick settings. Now, quick settings does have styles, which I really appreciate. You do have styles, tiles per row. I normally set it to four. Um, it does have that. So, it does work out. And it uses the Cyanogen mod default tiles rather than Slim ROM tiles. So, that is really cool. It, the GPS option, I guess, is Slim ROM from the Slim ROM. So, yeah. It does have torch and camera which well I use camera option in here a lot um, so that is pretty cool so yeah I guess that much is it in the uh, carbon fiber setting option as I have said already this one is not the final there will be more options as of now I did I could not find the halo option there is no halo option right now so I'm hoping the halo option will be added uh, soon enough and when the omni rom figures out the best method for multi window that also should be added out soon enough so i guess it will it might take a few time rest of the options are similar to what you would expect from a kitkat rom so i'm not going to get too much into that these are the apps with which it comes uh, you do have uh, anti to benchmark is of course which i installed the rest of them are the basic apps it does have a file manager which i really appreciate a lot of the other roms does not include a file manager so i have to flash file manager separately so yeah the camera option is kind of an archaic one i guess because well it does have internal storage but none of the other newer features like power button for shutdown and stuff like that and I did get a can't connect to camera op uh, error in the day I've used benchmark score uh, was well it's normal for a KitKat ROM in this one I have flashed it three or four times again and the average was about 18400 which well I guess is similar to what you can expect from a KitKat ROM because it's AOSP it's better than the normal ones but it's cool uh, nothing out of the ground nothing ground baking but yeah it is there that's pretty cool let me show you guys the new boot animation which is pretty damn awesome here is the new carbon rom boot animation with the new carbon logo with something of an atom i guess it should have had um four uh electrons revolving because well carbon has a valency of four and something like that i'm not sure about uh, half of the stuff i'm not a chemistry major sorry about that so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom it does have this one which uh asks for anonymous usage statistics to be sent to carbon servers i guess well, now battery options which are uh well i guess my battery is not behaving the way it should be uh, I think I need to recalibrate it, but uh, from my experience, the battery life is not is kind of normal. 
uh, I did have a huge battery drain in the middle but and I think it really requires a recalibration because it was not charging and stuff like that so I have to look into that back life I would suggest it's normal to a KitKat ROM so nothing special nothing spectacular but still, still pretty cool so I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye